country. Environmental leaders are applauding today's indictment, but not everybody feels that way. News Channel 3's Tracy Lair joined us live with that part of the story. And Tracy, there is damage from the spill that we can't see at this point. That's right. Environmentalists say it's beneath the water's surface, and they hope that this case will punish planes and prevent a future spill. You know, more than nine miles of the ocean was covered with a giant oil slick, and, you know, hundreds of mammals and birds died, and many more were injured, and, I mean, it's had a huge impact. Environmentalists say the indictment is huge, too. They were the first to unofficially respond. Because their response was quite slow on the first day, we were able to get out there on the beach and on our boat and up in the plains to see um, what was going on before they sort of locked it down a day or two later. Environmentalists believe the criminal charges will show what they knew or should have known. Um, it never should have been corroded to this extent, and then the corrosion was grossly underreported. So there were a lot of things that were done wrong. But some campers at Refugio don't think a criminal trial is needed. Well, I think um, that it, they should pay anything that they do in damages, and if they've done something wrong, they should certainly have punitive civil damages. Uh, but to put them in jail when we've got overcrowded jails and we're trying to empty jails of people that are uh, having nonviolent uh, felonies it seems to me a stupid abuse of the law. Other campers who canceled plans last year are back and waiting to see what happens. Um, I probably will, just to add a curiosity because I, to me, this is something I cherish because our family comes here, so it's special. And while that plays out, Channel Keeper will be launching a quarterly tarball monitoring program. The presence of a lot of seeps in this area really confounded their response with a lot of the, you know, planes or the agency saying, oh, well, we're not sure if that's from the spill or if it's from natural seeps. And so here forward, having this sort of baseline that Channel Keeper is collecting through this monitoring program will be able to say, this is normal for this season on this beach and this isn't normal. And they took some samples just last week after, as for the case, it goes to court June 2nd, right after the busy Memorial Day holiday at the Refugio campgrounds. It was closed after the spill during the holiday last year. In Santa Barbara, Tracy Lair, News Channel 3. Okay.